Welcome to a whole new world. The digital classroom of Maryland Academy. A smart class like never before. Easy learning. Happy learning. Happy children. Happy families. Types of memory. Primary, read only and secondary. Computer memory is of three types. One, primary memory. Two, read only memory. Three, secondary memory. Classification of computer memory. Computer memory. Primary memory. Internal memory. Read only memory. ROM. Secondary memory. External memory. The CPU can randomly access any storage location in this memory, so, it is also called random access memory. Various types of secondary memory are floppy disk, hard disk, CD, DVD, Blu ray disk, flash drive, SD card. It is the main area where data, instructions and informations are stored. Any storage location in this memory can be directly accessed by the CPU. The CPU randomly searches data, instructions or information in this memory. It is called RAM since the CPU can randomly access any storage location here. When the power supply is switched off, the stored data and instruction disappear. Volatile memory. Smart byte. The kind of memory that loses its content when the power supply is turned off is known as volatile memory. Read only memory. It is a type of memory from which the information can usually only be read. ROM can also be accessed by the CPU but the data and instructions stored are retained even when the power supply is switched off. Nowadays, However, writable ROMs and erasable ROMs are available for use. Some computer scientists consider ROM as a type of primary memory. Types of ROM Programmable read-only memory, it can be programmed to record the information. Once recorded, the information cannot be changed. Erasable programmable read-only memory, it can be programmed to record the information. The information can be changed using ultraviolet light. Electrically erasable programmable read-only memory, it can be programmed to record the information. The information can be changed using electrical signals. Read-only memory. Smart Byte. ROM has the features of both primary memory and secondary memory. As RAM, ROM is directly accessed by the CPU. As secondary memory, ROM is non-volatile. Secondary memory. It has a large storage capacity. Data and programs are not lost when the power supply is switched off. It is not directly accessible by the CPU. It is here, where programs and data are stored for future use. It is also called auxiliary memory.
Floppy disk. Smart Byte. A floppy disk consists of a magnetic disk in a square plastic case. It can be used to store and transfer data from one computer to another. Floppy disks come in two sizes, three and a half and five one quarter. To use a floppy disk, your computer needs to have a floppy disk drive. This storage device, although very popular earlier, is now hardly used and has been replaced by CDs, DVDs and flash drives. Hard disk. It is a part of a unit called the hard disk drive. It comes in various storage capacities, 500 gigabytes, 1 terabyte and 2 terabytes. A computer has an internal hard disk. Hard disk explained. It is made up of a collection of disks known as platters. The platters are placed one below the other. They are coated with a magnetic material. Each platter consists of a number of invisible concentric circles called tracks. The tracks are further divided into sectors. Data are recorded on these tracks in the form of tiny magnetic spots. The presence of a magnetic spot represents the bit 1. The absence of a magnetic spot represents the bit 0. External hard disk A portable device that can be connected to a computer through a USB or FireWire connection. It stores a large amount of data. Connect it to the computer. Transfer your data. Carry it along. Compact disc A CD contains tracks and sectors on its surface. A CD stores up to 700 megabytes data. A CD may also be called CD-ROM. A CD-ROM may be of two types. Types of CD-ROM CD-ROM CDR, Compact Disc Recordable CDRW, Compact Disc Rewritable Data once written cannot be erased, it can only be read. Data once written can be erased to write or record new data many times. Digital Versatile Disc A DVD looks similar to a CD. A DVD stores up to 4.7 GB data. The video file stored on a DVD can also be seen on a TV using a DVD player. Flash Drive A flash drive is primarily used to transfer and store data. To use a flash drive, you need to plug it into a USB port on the computer. Specially designed or programmed flash drives may be used to read, write and delete data from computer systems. As a flash drive is easy to use and small enough to be carried around, it is a very popular storage device.
SD card. The size of an SD card is similar to that of a postage stamp. To use an SD card, you need to insert it into the SD port of the computer. Or you can insert the SD card in an SD card reader, then insert the SD card reader into the computer. It is used to store data in portable devices such as digital cameras, cellular phones, ebook readers, and music players. An SD card can have the storage capacities of 4 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, 64 gigabytes, 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, and even more. Universal Serial Bus Smart Byte A port means a plug or a socket on a computer that is used to connect other devices to the computer. A keyboard, mouse, flash drive and hard disk are usually connected through a USB port on the computer nowadays. Make things happen. Take inspired action. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow.